there's five hypothetical alternatives for theism uh, that Geisler proposes. And one is that God could have created nothing at all. He could have created only beings who were not free. He could have created beings who were free to, and there's that religious term, sin, uh, do wrong, violate some sort of uh, divine law, however you want to term that word. Um, could have done wrong and did so. All right, I'm using his terms. Okay, God could have created beings who were free but must do wrong. That's an interesting one. And God could have created beings who were free to do wrong and did so. Free, free to do that and chose to do that. Not necessarily that they had to, but that they chose to. That's the difference on number five, which uh, typically, uh, yeah, well, there's a couple of versions. Some, some Christian thought might have uh, along the lines that were, uh, that, they, that they had to, but probably a more standard view would be number five uh, in that religious context would be that they were free to, but didn't really have to. But some people say, no, they were destined to, they were going to. So there's some differences there. But these are alternative versions of what are the possibilities. These are pretty much all the possibilities that are uh, laid out. I mean, as far as uh, choosing to do things that were uh, wrong, could have done nothing at all, could not have made it at all, or made of not free, uh, having no real choices, robots, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so those are some alternatives to all this. Uh, and, and the reason I, I want to bring this out is to try to point out is where do you fit in that? Um, you'd make them. You'd make them not free. You'd make them not free because you would make them die before they ever had a choice to really do anything wrong. They might be thinking it; it's brewing inside, but you're not going to allow them the freedom to ever carry it out. So you're going to limit their freedom. Okay. And to some degree, we're all, all of our freedom is limited. Isn't it? I mean, you, you only have so much freedom. Right? You can choose to do a whole lot of things, and you can choose to accept those consequences of those things. Right? I mean, you, can, you can go, like one guy went into McDonald's and just started shooting people. Well, you, you might be able to do that. You might be able to, unless you drop dead on a heart attack before you get there. And that can happen too, right? So freedom is kind of a relative thing, isn't it? You're, you're free, sort of, aren't you? Okay. It, I'm finding a, a, a lack of one this doesn't have... Like God could have created only beings who were free. Period. It all has were free, uh, free to sin, didn't sin, free to sin, did sin, free to sin, must sin. But it doesn't have the alternative of just being free. Uh, yeah, that'd be number five. You're free. He just didn't, and you, you didn't sin because we're, we're looking at a universe where. We acknowledge that in this universe, people do things that are not acceptable to other people, at least, at the very least, okay? And of course, he's assuming God. That's part of the presupposition here. So, in this instance, uh, yeah, that'd be uh, uh, using the analogy that you've been using, the Adam and Eve before they screwed up. <laughs> it was there for a while, so you can't say that he's not taking that consideration. It's just it didn't last very long, all right? Because they did make that choice uh, according to that story. So this would be uh, this would probably free well free to sin, but did not sin right here. That is that option. That's the before that whole episode. Exactly. So that like short period of time. All in all, did sin. What's that? For you say that you can have an option where people are free and they didn't sin. That's number three. Yeah, like they did or did not sin. It's not. Because I don't know they did sin. is almost like a, a must sin to me. They're, they, they're just. No. Uh, that's right here. That's number four. Must yeah. sin. Must. That's number four. Number five is they are free and. Instead of choosing number three, they chose number five. So you could have a... So three and five are just kind of combined. They either choose well, to no. choose not to sin on the uh, Well, in, 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 the, the, in the story of Adam and Eve, you have both. Because for a while, number three was the case, and then number four came in. I mean, number 
five, right? You started with number three, you ended with number five. So in that case, you have both scenarios. You're going to have one or the other, is what we're saying. Unless you say there is no such thing, there's no such thing as morality. Wake up in the that's, that's the only other alternative. There is no morality. There is no right or wrong. I'm just saying on morality, you have both three and five. You're not bound to just one. I mean, because you could help an old lady cross the street or you could trip her, you know? But no, no, no. But, but at, at, at any both. point in time that you have done number five, that stands. You see what I'm saying? Okay. You, you're, you're here until, uh, say you're a thousand years old and you've never done anything wrong. Okay, a thousand one, you say you do something wrong. Now you're in this category, okay. right? So you, you've switched categories because now you have done that. No, I'm not saying that you can't do good and bad as a person, as an individual. Uh, we might all agree that you can do good things and you can do bad things if you believe in good and bad. Okay? But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about you never cross that line.